Hello friends, as you know, I was at Dollar Tree and I have a really awesome Hollow Queen 2019 Dollar Tree haul, but we are going to kick it off with a couple of items that are not Hollow Queen and this is one of them. Okay, so I found this kitchen measurement and I decided to pick it up. Um, I really like the conversions. They're easy and simple to refer to. One eighth of a cup is six teaspoons or two tablespoons. And then it goes on and on. Now, what I like is that you can slide this out. And I'm going to glue magnets to the back of this. And I'm going to hang it on my um, kit, on my refrigerator. And good news, my husband... I'm glad he said it first because it was next on my list. We're going to get a new fridge. So I am super excited about that. And um, I will show it to you when we get it. But yes, we are going to be looking for new refrigerators. All right, back to our Dollar Tree. I love the Bolero makeup wipes. I don't think you can go wrong with these. I hauled three of them before I went to New York. Not sure where they're at. So I did grab two more and I just picked them up in coconut, cream, and vanilla. It's a 30 count for each one. I always keep one um, in my, a pack in my nightstand and a pack um, in front of my vanity because sometimes when I'm laying in bed, I'm don't want to get up to take off my makeup. So having them in my nightstand drawer, I just reach in it, grab it and start taking off my makeup. And I also have a trash can by my bed, um, for, you know, little trash like tissue and stuff like that. And I'm able to take off my makeup that way. Otherwise I probably wouldn't just sleep with my makeup. So that's not good. Anyways, can't beat these for a dollar, and I love the way they work as well. Okay, I also picked up this Wet n Wild. Um, uh, it's an eyeliner, but I do use it as a brow um, pencil, and it is in Sienna. I just have to remember that because my hair is so light right now that I cannot go dark with the eyebrows, so just use it very lightly as a filler. And since I love to do an earth tone um, smoky eye, I thought I would get this Wet n Wild Glitter Single in Brass. Because with Harvest and Hollow Queen coming up, it'll be fun to have some glittery eyes and play around with the makeup. Alright, let's get into our Dollar Tree Hollow Queen decorations. And... You all knew I was going crazy when I was showing you this stuff. Okay, this is Black Cats in Witches Hats Beware of Flying Brooms. And what I love is you have these two pumpkins. The white one has a cute little bow and it looks like it's orange black. And then you have the black and white pumpkin. It says Happy Halloween. And they threw a lot of cute stuff in here. You have the black cat on top and you have the crow right there. So... This was definitely going in my basket, and I know I hauled two more. I hauled like two or three more from the 99 cent store as well. So, we ha so we're definitely set on um, towels over here. I also grabbed this one because I just, I love it. Again, we have the big black cat, and she is wearing her witch's hat. And we have the triple stacked pumpkins, and just super cute so I decided to get that one as well and I do not buy them in pairs I love to get separate looking ones because I can never choose which ones I want and then I just went with the traditional happy Halloween with the haunted house now these are the three different prints that are out there and I think they're absolutely really really cute um, I do like the 99 cent store towels better, um, the towels, because there were, they are a burlap material where these are just kind of like that material that kind of just hangs on to lint and they're really only good for decor purposes, but still really cute. All right. I did pick up two pot holders for a dollar and that is awesome. And they are orange on the back. And again, this one goes into a little bit more detail and we have um, what looks like we're in a cemetery setting and we have the white pumpkins and we have the orange and you have the cute black cat and a spider web. So 
I really had fun shopping at Dollar Tree today. And then I picked it up in the classic Haunted House Happy Halloween. And we have the full moon with lots of bats. And then it is black um, in the back. So really surprised at the quality of the pot holders. And I kind of messed up on the oven mitts. I bought doubles and I don't usually do that so I don't know where my head was at the time but I'm not going to take them back because I know what I'm going to do with these. Um, I'm going to intermix them with the ones that I did purchase from the 99 and I think it'll make a nice mix. But all in all I must say I'm pretty impressed with their kitchen decor, Halloween, Halloween items and I'm um, definitely glad that I was there to um, to get what I wanted. Now I will tell you that we did shoot a walk with me um, Dollar Tree and it is already up on Queen of the 99 and you'll be able to see which ones are going really quick and the black cat this one design seems to be um, really going a lot faster than the other designs. So if you like it, I would definitely suggest you get out there and um, purchase them. All right, so let's keep going and see what else we got. All right, this attracted my attention the moment I walked in and I saw it and I knew I was gonna get it. I just, I don't know, come in for a spell. And again, out of all the signs, this one, was be I mean you could tell people were buying it I think I had like maybe five to choose from and the store had just put finished putting out all of their Halloween decorations anyways I just thought it was too cute and I love how it says come in for a spell and it has the orange and black room and then you have the witch's hat on top of the S so yep that went in my cart it came home with me and of course I liked this one and this is trick-or-treat happy haunting haunted houses jack-o-lanterns and that is a faux galvanized um, little pumpkin that they stuck on there and that is really why I liked it I thought that was really cute and I love all of the little sayings here toil and trouble cobwebs black cats and also, I like it because it will contrast nicely with all of the orange and black that we have going on over here. And this was another cute one that I had to have. And Happy Halloween, witches, beware, spooky, boo, creepy, haunted. And this one has a skull applique right there. You can tell. So, they're definitely, I mean, these are new to me. Um, I did not pick up the triple pumpkin because I'm pretty sure I picked it up last year. Because it looked way too familiar and I just remember it. But, yeah, these are my three favorite signs right here. And definitely glad that I went into this particular Dollar Tree. Um, definitely check out the Dollar Tree walkthrough that we just put up because that is an excellent Dollar Tree that we went to. Now I put this on my freezer so you can kind of get an idea of how long it is, but I really like it and I'm not going to spend, actually it's not that, it's not the money, it's Right now, I really need to go through what I have and what I'm going to keep. So I just can't keep buying big items because I've been loving this whole beware, um, welcome, the huge signs that we've been seeing um, at all of the places that I've been doing walkthroughs. For example, Hobby Lobby, Michael's, Joann's. But at Dollar Tree, you can get one for a dollar. And I chose the black lettering on the white background. And they also have the, I think it's white on black or orange on black and like I, I mean as you've noticed I've been going with the white signs versus the black ones because I have so much of the traditional um, Halloween items that I kind of want to start contrasting them and I really really like this um, it is yellow on the sides and it, does, it is distressed and you have a nice 
glittery. This is all glitter in case you can't tell. And then a glittery spider and you also have the spider web. And then right here is where you're going to hang hang him, him or her up. And yeah, I just really liked it. Definitely one of my favorite pieces that I picked up today. And I did go back to Hobby Lobby and I picked this up. Um, when I saw it, I knew I had to have it. And this is Autumn Acres Pumpkin Patch Apple Cider Hay Rides and Hot Cocoa. And I just loved it. I really did. So I went back and I picked it up. It was a hard decision. I didn't know whether I should get the green pumpkins, but I decided since I was going to go with this type of motif that I would stick with the orange pumpkins and keep it a little bit traditional. Now, again, this is Hobby Lobby. Um, and it was 40% off when I purchased it. And I don't know how much it is. But it didn't come out. To, it was like $12. So I, I think it was like $19.99. And I ended up paying maybe $12 and some change. But I love it. And this is going to go in our family room above the fireplace. And I'm really glad that I finally showed it to you. Because I've been wanting to hang it up. But since I hadn't shown it... Um, to you. I was holding off, but now that is a done deal, and yay, I can finally put it up. And when I was doing the walkthrough for Home Goods, I fell in love with this plate. There's just, I mean, I saw it and I was just like, wow. Okay, number one, I can put my whole hand on this and look how huge it is. Number two, it weighs a ton. I swear, it has to weigh. A pound and a half. I mean, this is heavy. So heavy that if I want to turn it around, I gotta put it down because right now I'm working with one hand. And it was $4.99. Yep. And it says compare at $8. Um, I would not have paid $8, but when I saw that this beautiful plate was $4.99, I said, Yes, you are coming home with me. Um, I am going, I have, if I can't find them, I know I can get them, you know, at, um, Dollar Tree and whatnot, and that is a plate holder. My only concern is that because this is so heavy and their plate holders kind of seem a little bit flimsy, I'm just a little nervous that it will break the plate holder. So I might just have to go get one at Hobby Lobby or Michael's and just invest on a good one because, um, there are other plates that I want to get in. I must say between this and the item that I showed you from Hobby Lobby, those are two of my favorites so far, um, for Hollow Queen. Anyways, my friends, I just wanted to show you, um, these two extra items as a bonus. I have a lot more stuff to show you. I am completely backlogged on filming um, from New York. But anyways, I just wanted to come on and show you all of the awesome Hollow Queen stuff that I've been finding and hauling. And definitely check out um, our walkthrough because they had their full collection out, my friends. As always, thank you so much. Um, Thank you for hitting the thumbs up. Again, I truly appreciate it because it is free advertisement for our channel. And to the people hitting the thumbs down, that still counts as a view. So it does not bother me. Um, our channel will never disable comments and we will never disable um, the likes to dislikes ratio. So with that being said... Um, we welcome everyone to come and watch. Um, any type of negative comments, you will be blocked from the channel and your comment will be deleted. So with that, please keep in mind when you are leaving comments. Um, it's just, I don't think there's any reason for us not to have nice comments in our comment section. And for the most part, we do. So I am sorry that we had to end it on this note. But um, I am giving people a fair heads up and warning. So anyways, my friends, for all of the real friends on Queen of the 99, I hope you all enjoyed this and I hope you're enjoying what we are loading up. Please let me know what your favorite item was in this haul 
and thank you to all of our old friends, new friends, future friends. Thank you so much. Have a great evening, a great day, and I cannot wait to see what we put out next. Bye-bye, my friends.